Hi, it's Miglena from ThePoweDancer.com. Welcome to a new tutorial series called 50 Shades of Grip. There are few essential concepts every pole dancer must know. One is hand grips and correct muscle engagement. In the following videos, I'm going to cover the common mistakes and the correct technique of six of the most used hand grips in pole dancing. This is true grip, strong hold grip, half bracket grip, full bracket grip, form grip and twisted grip. The fifth grip is the form grip. But before we get started, I want you to be an active student. Can you spot the mistakes in the following video? Watch closely. Did you spot the mistakes? Pause right now, rewind and watch again. Ready? Here's the correct technique. The form bracket grip also uses the pull and push technique. The difference to the previous grips is that your form is touching the pole and you're actively pushing. A common mistake is that the bottom hand is too high and you can't push. So slide your hand really low, wrist at shoulder height, pull down with the top arm, elbow is straight, you're using your scapula and push out on the pole. Notice that your body opens to the side and your shoulder moves to the front. Conditioning exercise you can do here is keeping your feet closer to the pole and only practice the pull and the push. Hips go out. Next, lift one leg, pull, push, and slowly changing the legs while keeping the hips away from the pole. This grip is usually used in climbing and also in some spins like the carousel spin. Were some of these tips new to you? Try them in your next training and let me know if you've noticed a difference. And share your insights in the comments below. One last thing before you go, there is a new video guide on how to create a choreography from scratch. It's for free and you can get it on thepoledancer.com slash choreographing. In this video, I'll guide you through the exact process of structuring a choreography according to the music and planning out the creative steps. You go from a blank page to having a clear idea of what your choreo is going to look like. You find practical examples and a template that you can start using right away for your new choreography. Get them on thepoledancer.com slash choreographing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.